Hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. I am Rita Wells. I'm doing a different kind of reading for you today. If you're new to cardology, uh, this is a old, old gypsy spread that was taught to me when I was about eight years old. You won't find this anywhere else. I read any kind of videos you find in cardology. I don't use new age tactics. I use something that's very ancient that was given to me by a gypsy lady. Oh my God, the card just, look at this. What card is this? this is significant to your reading, Sag. This card just almost ripped. Okay, so let's see what it is. It is the nine of hearts. In this ancient gypsy spread, the nine is about foundation and structures, okay? This is also masculine energy, wanting to build a temple of love. You know how Sagittarius, uh, the Taj Mahal is the story that I'm getting right now for you. So this is a message that's come up from spirit. Look up the story of the Taj Mahal. He built that as a temple to his wife with beautiful gems and gold and everything. And when colonialism, when the British came in, they stole all those gems, like massive jewels, you know? This is what your masculine wants to do for you, all right? So that that is a message <laughs> that came right out. That's never happened to me before. To almost rip this card is like plastic. I've never had that, okay? So I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera, but. All right, guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Synchronistic stuff happens like that all the time. So if you like that, like and subscribe, guys. All right, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Make sure you look at your North Node, guys. Your North Node is the direction that you're moving towards. Your South Node is what you're moving away from. It kind of gives you an idea of your mission and your path. So take a look at your North Node. This is for Sagittarius, for Astata, which is the Spring Equinox. We're going to see what vibrations are coming out for you. This is for Sag. My beautiful Saggies. My daughter is a double Sag. I've got I've got a double Scorpio and a double Sag. These those are my children. One, two, four, five. Six. In this spread, you use the person's name to spell out the person's first name. But because this is a general read, Spirit told me to use the magical number seven. Seven is a very important number in cardiology. Um, it's also a spiritual number in the new in the new age community, but it's um, and and religion as well. Seven is mentioned in all uh, major religions like Hinduism and Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. So let's take a look. So think of your person. The red energy is masculine, and the black energy is feminine. So we have feminine energy, masculine energy, mass feminine energy. Feminine energy. We have two sevens in a row, guys. All right. So something very spiritually uh, guided is happening here. We have masculine. So we have more feminine than masculine. So the feminine is thinking a little bit more of the masculine at this time. Okay. What I'm seeing with you guys, Saj, there has been, um, uh, you guys may have been in separation for a while. Okay, Saj. Uh, there may be... Um, I'm seeing two different paths that have happened here because of karma, right? Um, you both are on very two separate paths right now. Um, this masculine is very much thinking about his coin, okay? Thinking about the feminine, but there may have been something where there may have been an uneven aspect in regards to money, goals, finances, and how to move forward. And that may have been something in a split. I need a sip of coffee. Just give me a minute. So something may have happened in regards to that, not for everybody, but it could also be, um, see, I'm hearing um, a contract with a, a karmic uh, partner could be about children or not being able to get out of marriage and child support and money aspects. And this is why there was a, a splitting and this feminine energy is still stuck on the splitting, okay? So the um, masculine, we're gonna clarify, the masculine is very much, uh, thinking about this, um, the masculine wants to, uh, speak, okay, but about love and, and what's happening, but he's going through massive changes of the heart now. There's a lot of regret here for what's happened. I feel you guys have been in separation for a while. I keep hearing that, that, uh, it's almost like I'm seeing a point, you know, that you started, you know, but as you went on your separate ways, you know, you know how you go in a triangle and you start to drift further apart. It's like you're both over here now. But Spirit is saying this point 
that you both were at it's like it's like a rubber band it's kind of slowly pull you guys are looking back at each other now looking back at where you came from is what i'm getting because this feminine is feeling very passionately the the fire of creator force energy is very passionate about her life now okay there's something that has shifted in this feminine which is forcing the masculine to change in his heart space now we have um about his foundation and life and money that he's been wanting to build here this feminine um can feel the darkness this masculine chose money made a head over heart decision and chose money over love is what i'm getting in your situation Something about stability, okay? Couldn't leave a mama pregnant, baby's mama, whatever. This is what I'm hearing. Couldn't leave a marriage. Couldn't leave the home. They would have been bankrupt. There's something about choosing money over everything. There's a lot of regret in this. So comment down below because I would love to hear your stories about that. If that's true, if that resonated for you. Um, remember, sharing your story helps other people in the world too, right? Don't be afraid to share your stuff. Um, yeah, and so there's a lot of um, this karmic, this feminine is feeling a lot of this. I feel there's still some healing that needs to happen. This was very dark energy. It was a dark contract, guys. <sighs> I don't like to say that we have to make contracts with demons, but when I've done ayahuasca, I've seen, I've seen Satan, I've seen dark entity. I've seen them my whole life, right? So ayahuasca is just more clear. And I was talking to Satan in one of the ceremonies. <laughs> spirits tell me to tell you this i was talking to satan in one of the ceremonies and i'm like take the demon out of the person and, and satan's like look i'm just the keeper for these souls okay like for these demons like th she made the contract so it's a very lineage um demon um that's been haunting this family for a long time with this feminine um energy yeah um it was a betrayal of this darkness that this masculine was gifted money from God. Okay, this masculine has money or has his money tied up in other things. But spirit is trying to make this masculine aware that that money that this masculine gave was to honor with the feminine. Right? Masculines are given money to build for the feminine and for the foundation that they create. It's not made for karmic energies. Um and Sag, you know this, but there was massive betrayal when this happened. But that's because of the dark, the dark, and this is the center of your read. So there was massive dark energies that you came into this life. We had, and it was very, a lot about passion too. But it's passionate about the coin. It's not passionate sex. This is, this is monetary stuff. This is the greed stuff. And this feminine feels that there's also a betrayal in your family line, divine feminine. If you're looking back and you're hearing this and this is resonating for you, you've got to heal something with money in this lifetime. Okay. Um, look at this. So many sevens. This, ma this masculine was lucky and was gifted the money, the, the gift of wealth for an abundance from spirit. Okay, Sag but was used and redirected. So that's why there's a lot of regret. This masculine knows, this masculine knows what he did because it was in his karmic contract to in this life to heal that. And this is why it's been so painful for you, feminine. That's really what I'm seeing. You know that this masculine look, yeah, left you, okay? You're betrayed, you're hurt that this masculine left you for somebody else. Okay, you feel that this masculine loves this person, but it's not. It's more about money. It's a very puppy love is what I'm getting, okay? Very much stabbed in the back, okay? Ghosted. Um, but this masculine loves you. I, I mean, he loves you. He wants you. He wants the money. He wants... He. This masculine is aware of what's happened. And, yeah... <laughs> I feel coming in the spring, there are going to be massive shifts in your connection that's coming. This karma is getting ready to heal and clear so that you guys can go through this purification process of forgiveness and moving back into some type of communication and friendship and to start something, okay, is what I'm getting. Let's see what you guys have in common now, okay? We're going to see where you guys are marrying, what's your similarities, we take one from the bottom, one from the top. We do it in the magic number of three is a magic number. All right. So three, six, and nine are alchemy numbers uh, to manifest. Look up Nikola Tesla. Uh, works amazingly. All right. For manifesting what you desire. So, yeah, this is... Um, 
This masculine is having massive regret. I feel like they're, this masculine is still tied up with the money as I'm saying that. The betrayal, the dark contract from the lower realms. Now, just how God has the Holy Trinity, there's also a trinity in the darker realms, okay? We have the uh, Satan, Belize, above, and I, I can never remember the third prince of darkness or whatever. I'm not really into demonology, guys. But I mean, I, I know the dark because I've had to fight my way through it. I've been attacked my whole life. So they don't bother me now because they know I'm in my power. Like, I'm completely sealed up. Um, that's why I can I can talk to that and I can help people. So you have negative attachments. Hit me up because I know how to deal with that. Um, this this stuff, um, my God, is really about the coin, guys. Really about the coin. Um, yeah. Let's see. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. Spirit's like it's okay. It had to be reshuffled that way. All right. Let's see what other similarities come out, guys. Um, I wasn't clarifying yet. I thought I was clarifying for a minute, but spare, no. That happened for a reason. I never usually screw that up, but that was an automatic thing that just happened, and that's why. Because there's new abundance. 8-8 um, eight, eight is about infinity, eternal life, and love, and uh, God's abundance. And there's passion and love coming in this connection. Both of you are feeling that, Okay. So there's definitely that. Both of you are recognizing what this is. Both, Neither one of you are happy. You've walked to the end of both points. You've pulled that elastic as far as you can. Now you're looking at, uh, you're feeling the passion of the masculine. Something has shifted divine feminine. You're feeling the masculine's passion. This masculine wants to build something abundant with you now. Whatever he didn't give to you, uh, you know, and pick the head over heart, pick money over the situation, wants to give you that wealth, wants you to be the queen Okay, this masculine has is starting to wake up more to this connection. Yeah, you third party karmic situations. Okay, we're going to take a look at that. There's definitely you still passionately. Somebody may still be in a connection here. Okay, and you passionately know that divine. You can feel that, but you can also feel a shift in the masculine's heart with the karmic energies. Okay, Sag, you're feeling it. This is the last time we do this. You're you're feeling it. Um, yeah, this is the last one. Let's see what else comes out. This is for Sagittarius, please, spirit. So I, I'm feeling something is going to shift, come. Yeah, we have two threes here, okay? This is the wild card. This is the Holy Trinity. Look how many threes you have here of Christ consciousness, okay? You're waiting for that three of cups, that's the, the Holy Trinity, the masculine energy, the three cups from the Father, okay? The love of the Holy Trinity coming in and passionately being with you. You're holding that space, Divine Feminine, for your masculine. Because you passionately feel for your masculine. You passionately want this, um, this connection, okay? Um, you're starting to uh, look at it differently. Spirit is saying you're getting a little bit more understanding about what maybe... Uh, why this happened is what I'm getting. Um, and then as I'm saying that, here's like that Queen of Swords, which is the karmic energies, which is very, you know, lower energies and the mental capacities of what it caused you a lot of mental anguish and pain. But this masculine energy, again, sees you as the abundant queen and wants to give it to you. This masculine is sitting in king and queen of diamonds, okay, which is about that abundance and something tangible towards the divine feminine, Okay. Yeah. Let's clarify your reading now. So really beautiful divine feminine. I don't think you have anything to worry about. Try not to think too much about this karmic energy. I feel there is a lot. There's a lot of clearing that still needs to happen, but there's a massive awareness that is happening for you, Sag. Okay. A massive portal that's opening up with the spring equinox. So if you've been worried about this connection or you're, and, or you've been feeling like you're like, I know something is shifting, but I don't know what this is what it is. Okay, let's let's clarify because there was a lot of betrayal in this contract uh, with the divine masculine mind over money. Yeah, pulled away for money sexually. Uh, and people, and I'm not saying that they get turned on by money. Some, a lot of people do in a different way, but it's the sex card. It's the greed. It's the physical manifestation. And this is where the masculine went to. Okay. And that monetary money was given not, uh, he's getting his karma. God's like, I did not make you this abundant 
for this situation. And I feel there may be some loss that's happening here because of how the feminine was treated. Yeah, look at this. Three, three, six, six. Okay? So this masculine is getting the karma. You're feeling that divine feminine. <laughs> Okay, this masculine Sagittarius is getting the karma. Can't make that up. Look at that two of swords. Definitely karmic relationship and they're feeling it. Okay, you're feeling this shifting that's happening because this masculine chose head over heart. Yeah, he wants to change now. Look at this. He wants to change his heart. He wants to change love and how he's viewed love. He always thought that it could come out of physical pleasure and it can't. Can't come from the money, dude. Can't come from the money. And now his heart is changing because he's has massive regret about what is really happening. This, they both want to work. They're, the masculine's feeling the love of this abundant connection um, and, and wants to come forward. And the feminine's feeling the, the passion again. Something has ignited in her again in this connection. Okay, that's really beautiful. This feminine is taking care of herself. Yeah, this masculine wants to build a, a solid foundation and give that foundation that money. Wants to ground and give the coin to the feminine. Look at this. Five of diamonds. A lot of diamonds, okay? Which is pentacle kind of energy in the tarot. But cardiology is a little bit different. It's more about the abundance and the tangible stuff. Which I guess is very much like tarot. But there's other explanations. I'm not going to get into it. But the this aspect here is he's changing right for that but he wants to talk to the feminine about this okay so his heart is changing his ideas around money are changing the mind is changing the heart is changing he's starting to realize where he's been a bit of a you know yeah wants to end cycles of old love patterns and come forward okay wants to build a family now well, look at that. And this feminine is feeling it. This masculine wants to give and be that abundant um, king. And this feminine is feeling the passion of the masculine. Feeling the coming together. So I feel you needed this validation, Divine Feminine. You may feel a massive shift. Sometimes we doubt it. Don't doubt your intuition ever. Look at this. Two, two. Both of you are feeling it. Both of you want to come together now. So there is a massive shift. Both of you are recognizing and seeing each other out of all, all of the, the hardships that you have gone through. There's massive endings that are happening for something very clear and new to ground into your vibration. Okay. We have here karmic energies. So let's see what's going on with your karma. Okay. Because uh, Divine Feminine, you may feel that the masculine is still in love and passionate against uh, 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 for this karmic energy. I feel there is a love there. I'm feeling that. Okay, there is a love there, but it's not it's not what you think. Okay, this love is um yeah this love this masculine is looking at things very differently in this love. And so they love this karmic energy. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Honestly, but it's not the same way in what they thought love was because all of those ideas are changing now. So this masculine is going through that and realizing that what they thought of love with this karmic energy is not what they thought. And it's not that they don't care about this person, but they're realizing that something deeper, they, he's, this person has really gone through some growth. They have gone through marriage counseling or something with the karmic energy and just had an aha moment and just went, Oh my God. There, as I'm saying that the seven of sevens are about God and change and, and holiness and God came in and changed this luck of love and brought what divine love is really about. And it changed that. So something happened in the karmic situation um, that made the masculine question. Yeah, look at this. To build a foundation of love. To build. Yeah, this person's idea. And now he's like, I'm an, I'm an ass. This feminine feels this passion coming in, okay? Feels... Um, wants to get on mission, feels that the mission is coming, feels that the vibration has changed. This feminine is definitely feeling a lot of this passion, okay? And knowing that something has shifted, you just needed the validation that your masculine is changing right now. This masculine wants to end cycles of old ways of thinking about money as well, where it's kept him stuck. Wow. So this feminine is holding space passionately for the Holy Trinity, for God's love, for a union, 
okay? Yeah, you want to talk passionately about this. You want to you you want the change. You want this passionate change, divine feminine. Okay. Um, Spirit is saying this foundation of love is going to come in. This mask is not quite ready yet. That's why it's blank. Okay. There is a divine timing that's happening, of course, because he has to deal with the money situation with the karmic energies. Okay. So. There is still money, so there's still a playing out that's happening here. This masculine wants to give monetarily and per, and provide to the feminine as a queen, um, and this feminine is still feeling the karmic is still around. There is, but this because there's a there's awakening that's happening now. So there is things that there are things that are going to shift. This feminine passionately wants to build, but spirit is saying that you got to hold back and keep focusing on yourself. Okay. Um, Yeah, there's the Holy Trinity. Okay, there's that love. So this masculine is holding this for the feminine. Okay, and the feminine wants to build and it wants to bring in the money for the feminine and build with God's love and do this. Okay, um, this masculine is aware of that. Okay, so feminine is still stuck in the betrayal, still feeling the back, the backlash. Okay. So there's some forgiveness that needs to happen here, Divine Feminine, to allow this masculine to come in because the space is here. But there has to be um, a more focus on self, okay, Divine Feminine? But there is a massive shift that's happening with your masculine right now. Let's grab one more. Four of clubs. Let's see if anything comes out for the masculine. Yeah, nine. Uh, building that structure with you and passionately feeling the foundation coming into play, okay? There is a new foundation. Look, loves the divine feminine masculine loves the feminine wants to give it to her monetarily spirit says that is in the masculine's vibration okay is completely changed his perspective now he's just like how do i physically do this how do i physically get myself out of this mess okay so that's what he's contemplating right now let's take a look at your oracle sag if you loved this reading if it resonated don't forget to like this video it helps the karma to come back to me helps my channel to grow please take a look at all my services if you want to work further with me you can email me if you have any questions about my services and let's take a look what is going on for sagittarius sun moon rising and venus for the spring equinox spirit what is going on with sagittarius please this is for my saggies sun moon rising and venus let's take a look this is true love guys okay this is enhancing to another level okay so there the, you got to stay optimistic this is true love and what did i say about forgiving the forgiving and learning is here right can't make that up so Here's what Spirit's saying, Sag. Things are about to level up. This is a new vibration that you've been feeling. Stay optimistic. This is true love. But more forgiving has to happen for this to come into play, okay? So the masculine wasn't quite aware, but has had some type of massive awakening right now about this connection, okay? So as we'll see what doors are opening coming for spring equinox what doors are opening these energies are going to play out probably for the rest of the next few months, okay, guys? Because it is the spring. Um, let's take a look. What is going on for Sagittarians, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What portals are opening up? Yeah. But it, there's still some healing, but it's all good. You guys, this vibration is shifting, okay? So here are the energies, okay, that are coming out. Sleep, stepping into stillness. So this is about going within, pulling your energy back to reveal your radiance, right? The pearl. The shell is very hard, but to get to this power, you have to go deeper to find this revealing your radiance. So stay optimistic. Spirit is helping to guide you. F flying free. Be free in yourself. Find where you're still attached within yourself, where you haven't healed. That's still keeping you trapped in a lower vibration. So you can forgive and learn and move into something um, much more prosperous. And this is, go slowly with this. This is not going to happen overnight. This needs a, a lot of patience. Divine connections take a lot of patience. You can't force it because you're not in the lead of it. God's in the lead of it. So spirit here is sad just saying, just, okay. We, you, you, you know, things are shifting, allow it to happen and keep forgiving and learning and keep doing your work. But there's definitely a shift that's happening in your connection. Okay. What is going on for Sagittarian sun, moon, rising and Venus, please. And 
North know what is going on. Wow, that came out fast. Yeah, be flexible. You're between worlds right now. See, this is an unfinished story. We have unfinished symphony. So that's a 10, right? So cycles ending. We have th a three between worlds. You're just in a transitional space right now. So it's good with how things are happening. Or just remain flexible. Fly free. You're poised. This is a beautiful card. Spirit has you up on this beautiful, uh, is leveraging you up, is like seeing you as this beautiful being that this can happen if we learn to forgive deeper and hold space for ourselves and proceed softly and be kind to ourselves. All right, Sagittarius, that was your reading. So much love to you. I would love to hear what you thought of this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to work with me, all that info is down below. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye.